Bikies and Hoons will be the biggest losers from this state election, both major parties having a bold plan to come down hard. But it's not just the politicians waging war. A Hoon gang singles out and targets a local MP. The LNP says this is proof Hoons don't like their proposed anti-Hooning laws. This self-described gang posting videos online destroying campaign signs in Mudruba. Days after this burnout directed at Ros Bates in a Wurrungaree car park. Every time they smash one of my signs, every time they do a burnout in one of my hinterland roads, all they're doing is getting me more votes in Mudruba. This broad daylight burnout in Arundel also appearing online today. The street already covered in tyre marks. Wars on hoons and bikies are also now battles being fought on party lines, both claiming they'll come down the hardest. Why we're seeing a rise in crime, we're seeing a rise in the bikies coming back. Our laws, uh, in many, many instances, are the strongest, toughest, most comprehensive in the nation. Strongest on bikies, strongest on terrorists, strongest on hoons. The minister also hosing down claims that outlaw gangs are taking hold on the Gold Coast once again. Consorting notices are having their desired effect. They are disrupting crime, they're preventing crime. Meanwhile, a fresh announcement. Labor pledging two mobile police stations for the Gold Coast are able to be deployed anywhere in the city. Nick Kelly, 9 Gold Coast News. Wearing a balaclava, this masked bandit doesn't hold back. By hand or by car. Campaign signs right around the coast are being targeted, but at the centre, the member for Mudraba. You cannot threaten me or my family. They're known as the Mexican Hoon Cartel for obvious reasons, but have since turned their attention to the state election campaign. Over just two nights, vandals have stolen 16 signs, while 30 have been mangled. The reckless rampage then posted to social media. I have never seen such a vicious attack um, on me in any campaign over 15 years. The Mudjibar MP's office receives around 50 hooning complaints a month and on top of the sign damage, Ms Bates says this particular gang has even threatened her children online. But the Shadow Health Minister is standing firm. She says central to the attacks of the LNP's tough new hooning laws and in the end, they're working in her favour. All it does um, is get me more votes. Well, all I can say is they're nothing but a, a lawless outlaw gang and their day is coming, their day of reckoning. It's understood police are investigating. Jacob Chigo for 10 News First.